Let's turn to the financials as President Biden bows out. Investors are recalibrating their bets on the so-called Trump trade, including what it might mean for banks. David George of Baird saying the thesis holds little water, writing this, our valuation framework and through the cycle thought process suggests more limited upside in most bank names. We believe this replay of the Trump trade makes little sense to us this time around. David joins us now for more. David, let's get into that last line. Why does it make little sense this time in 2024 compared to, say, 2016? Well, yeah, um, good morning, John. It's good to, uh, good to see you again. So the, the, the Trump trade in 2016 um, was really the tax trade, in our opinion. That, and that, uh, as, a, as a reminder, corporate taxes went from 35% to 21%, and that's obviously a big delta and a big change. And the banking industry was the, the highest tax group in the S&P 500. So there was a about a 12 to 13 percent earnings improvement on the heels of that uh, tax reform in, in 2016. Given the fact that the U.S. is running 7 percent deficits in a, in, a, in a highly functioning economy today, uh, we think it's highly unlikely that you're going to see meaningful tax uh, reductions in uh, corporate America. And that's really where the upside in 2016 came from. And to set the context, John, um, we have been very bullish on regional banks. We've been on your show a lot over the last 12 to 18 months. We upgraded probably 13 banks, regional banks, specifically in the March, April, and May timeframe. And we've seen a complete U-turn uh, in sentiment over the last couple of weeks, really, since that debate. And again, we really think about banks on a risk reward basis. And from our perspective, the reward today just isn't as compelling as it was a month or two ago. So, David, have you reversed your call then to actually not recommend smaller banks anymore? Yeah, I, I think that, that's a great way to put it. I would say we're neutral. Um, we have been negative in the past, most recently in 2021. Uh, we're not quite at the level that we would tell market participants to short banks, but um, there's pretty limited upside from our perspective. And obviously, there's been a lot of movement in the Russell 2000, as you've said. Uh, and I think market uh, participants, particularly in the, the mutual fund community, kind of came into this debate period, maybe underweight or underrepresented in financials and banks specifically. So there was a little bit of maybe a rush to cover or a scramble to add exposure to financial services. Um, so it's certainly not an overly expensive group today, but the upside, again, is is just not uh, as attractive as it was. And we've downgraded several names. We downgraded two last week, and we probably downgraded eight, Lisa, uh, in the last couple of months.